What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at big boy Jordi Alba. The 93 rated left back has got himself into team of the season and genuinely looks pretty decent, to be honest. The only problem is we have a lot of fullbacks. That being said, he looks pretty decent in terms of stats as well. Like, everything looks pretty in order. We've obviously got cracking pace. Dribbling looks fantastic. He's got good passing. Defending and physicals are up there. The only thing really lacking him down is his strength. Obviously, we have gone with the anchor, which will which will benefit his strength a little bit. It will get it up to 82 on a plus 10. Obviously, we've purchased this one, so he will only get a 9. We haven't got no traits on him, and he is a freestyle, freestyle, left-footed, 5'7". Um, what, how much was he? He was about three. Yeah, about 380 at the moment, 500 on the PlayStation and 550 on the PC. I can imagine he will drop down as we get to 6 p.m. and everybody is opening upgrades. He's going to be one of the ones that is like in the mid tier. Not going to be easy to pat, not going to be solid, but kind of like in the middle, like a Mason Mount kind of thing or a Vardy where you kind of can get him, but it will take a little of attempt. And there is a few other Spanish players in there, so you won't know straight off the flag like Messi if you have got him or not. So let's jump straight into him. See what Jordi Alba can do and hopefully find ourselves a left back. The one thing I am interested in with Jordi Alba is the fact that uh, Navas was absolutely insane going down this wing. And, oh, okay. I suppose he's just going to give me the goal. Fez. Jordi Alba with the interception. It's lovely stuff from him. Was is going to get just tackled there. Jordi Alba watching that middle. We can see that messy pass coming into play here. Just passing it around. I don't get why he's giving me a goal and then can then decided to play. Jordi Alba working that wing. And I leave him there just so Suarez can take over. Jordi Alba making that counter attack hurt. Oh, referee, we're not having any of that. I don't know what happened, but we managed to make a move which just brought on that foul. Jordi Alba away. Suarez and another. You love to see it from him. Just making it look easy now. Jordi Alba following De Jong. Going to watch him. And he's left his post all open. But we've got, obviously, Mangala coming in. Beautiful defending stuff there. He managed to recover quite nicely. We're going to see Jordi Alba. Going to try and go for him down a wing if he actually wants to run. Go with this. Go with the one-two. That's what we want to see. Find him. Beautiful. Keep that run. And again, we stop and we keep turning. Pass it across. It's into Messi. It's Messi. It's all day long. Messi's getting that in. It's a cracking assist from Jordi Alba. Just a little pass around the box. And it's a beautiful goal by our man, Messi. Jordi Alba seeing it out. Taking a bit of the scenic route. Go with the 1-2. Lays it off. Him and Suarez linking up nicely. Into Jordi Alba again. Lovely. Little dink across the box, and it's a great touch. I saw Suarez on going onto that back post. Jordi Alba so far, again, very similar to Navas. Very good at that kind of wing-back role. Really pushing forward. Obviously, you don't want to be going too much. But you can already see he's already back from that position, which is absolutely phenomenal. And he will continue to do that all game, every game. And he can just continuously do that. We find the ball in the middle. Oh, and Coutinho rising for the chance. The question is, is Jordi Alba worth it? That's the big one, I think. It depends on how much he drops by. If he drops a good 100, maybe 150, I feel like he genuinely will be a very, very good left back, especially um, in terms of efficiency for price there. But at the moment, I think, what, three, what was he, 380, I think he was. I'd say he's good, but we do have a lot of fullbacks which you could choose from. And more than likely, you already have one untradeable in your club. Like, personally, we have Roberto Carlos. That is a cracking challenge from Jordi. I thought as soon as I pressed X, that was it. That was uh, the penalty incoming. I feel like he turned around and that's going to be a penalty. <laughs> Jordi Alba wanting that overlap. You can already see him pushing for it. What can we find with him? Let him go with that one, two. Easy as you like it. We find the middle into Suarez. Cuts it across. Goes for the finesse. Jordi Alba's picked it back up. He's not offside. Gone for the stop and gone for the finesse. And again, Sillison. The big question we've got is, is Suarez worth it? He's a million coins. And to be honest, maybe uh, maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend the coins. I would definitely say the upgrade is worth having a look at at the very minimum. But 
I think prices now are very hard to judge because everybody's rocking that untradeable team. So it's it becomes very difficult to then think who's worth what price. I think he is up there most definitely. Jordi Alba with a lovely tackle on Neymar. Going to find the ball into Mane. Again, weighted to perfection. Find the cross in. My man Jordi Alba then. So he is coming in at about 400k, which is perfect because we managed to sell ours off at 395. We bought him for 370. A couple of, tax, a couple of K tax profit, which is brilliant. We normally end up losing so much on cards. Just on tax alone, really. That, that normally is what it is. As we go up to like the Benzema levels where it's like 6, 650. At the minimum, you're losing 30k tax. And obviously, you're not going to get one and hold it for like an hour and it's going to go up by 40k but alba seems to have managed to, to rise up that little bit more which is always perfect and honestly what a fantastic card he is very good at that wing bat like we said he is kind of all over the pitch which is very very nice he does go forward quite a lot but i do find that he gets back even quicker which is always nice he has got the 99 pace with that anchor on obviously and his strength and defending definitely seem so much better with the anchor as well. Also, the dribbling is spot on for a left back. I'm definitely happy with it. And then passing wise, can't really fault him, to be honest. There was lovely through balls, managing to pick passes that normal players wouldn't do. He's a good card. He's a very, very good card. I definitely wouldn't be paying 400 outright for him. When do we have him? FIFA 10 is when we got him. How old is he? 32 years old. Started with Valencia and then came to... Barcelona in FIFA 13 as a left back and then we've kind of like ticked over by the looks of it FIFA 18 he managed to get a few 19 was a couple of amounts the 20 is just three of them and then this year again another three so it's kind of interesting to see how he goes in terms of specials I know fullbacks it isn't necessarily easy because they they have to have a clean sheet and a good game and a score and assist it has to be something special because there is so many one left and right backs in people's teams that you just got them to compete with cons uh, consistently each week. So it isn't easy. He's managed to get an inform this year, as well as again, getting a man of the match. But the 93 is very, very nice. I'm not going to lie. He does what you need. He's got basically everything on the, uh, on the front and center. We can see on the base what he's going to be like. And it's exactly right, to be honest. There isn't really too much that I'd add to him other than he's very good at that wingback role. And again, if you're looking at Alba and Navas, both of wingbacks, you could then open up three centre-backs, whatever you want. You could go with uh, potentially three at the back and use them as a left-right mid, depending on if you want the 10 chem or not. There is so many possibilities now with left-back, right-backs in terms of formations. And even if you whacked him in the centre, in a three or five at the back and had him as a centre-back, it's a potential that a lot of people will be trying. And I know I, I quite like my 4-2-3-1. My Maybe I changed the formation up a little bit, but for, me, and for now... I'm very happy with it. It works well. And as you saw, Alba getting up and down the wing is absolutely spot on. Overall wise, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. Let me know down below what you think about Jordi Alba. And if you have packed him, if you've got him, if you want him, let me know down below. And I'll see you all for the next time. Peace.